Also, on this Earth Day, we're highlighting an innovative alternative to produce food. It's called vertical farming, and it's healthy for you and the environment. CBS News' Vanessa Murdoch takes us to a vertical farm in Newark to show us how it's done. Oh, so good for you greens growing sky high in Newark. Arugula, baby kale, amaranth, just to name a few varieties, fill what used to be a steel factory. This is Aero Farms. Over the last 40 years, the world's lost 30% of its arable land. Here at Aero Farms, we grow with no soil. Plants don't need soil, they need nutrients and micronutrients. Co founder and CEO David Rosenberg says plants don't need sun either, but they do need spectrum of light, and that's what these LEDs provide. Everything is grown here aeroponically. Water and nutrients get misted onto the roots. Ultimately, we're able to grow plants, giving them exactly what they want. Rosenberg says they grow more with less of a lot of things. Soil, obviously. Water, too. It takes 90 to 95 percent less considered traditional farming. Grower Stephen Genty says that's because the water is on a closed loop system. No chemicals run off into the water supply. Here's why. No pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides. These greens are ready to eat, and that's why I'm dressed head to toe like a surgeon, getting ready to go into the OR. Well, almost. We grow on a recycled material made out of plastic bottles. Stacy Kimmel, VP of Research and Development, says it's reusable, ad infinitum. We can grow to infinite heights as opposed to one level, and that gives us a lot more growing space than any traditional field farm. By the numbers, growing vertically with aeroponics has proven to be 390 times more productive per square foot than traditional field farming. We also actually put in supplemental CO2. Plants are carbon based, so there's an element of carbon sequestration here. And these greens can go from growing to grocery store within 24 hours. Now that's fast food that packs a healthy punch for humans and Mother Earth, too. From Newark, New Jersey, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Looks like a plant based nightclub, huh? Aero Farms is partnered with the city of Newark and Jersey City to build small aero farms in schools and community centers, but truly really is fascinating.